The standoff between Russia and Ukrainian forces continues today. The crisis in Crimea is now at sea. Two Ukrainian warships are pinned in, blocked from leaving port by Russian ships. All diplomatic hands are now on deck. Secretary of State John Kerry is in Paris today for meetings with European, Russian and Ukrainian officials. But Russia has shown no sign of backing down. Back here at home, Asheville families with ties to the area say Ukrainians are now paying for the political crisis. Russian troops on the move in Crimea, the aggression increasing concern for the future. For Ukraine, it's just, it's sad because they haven't had a, a real chance to experience full democracies. Lena Ostapovich, a student at AB Tech, was born in Ukraine just after the Chernobyl disaster. Right outside of um, Kiev in a town called Rovno. Yeah, and my cousin lives in Lviv. Ostapovich says her dad served in the communist army, and she believes Russian President Vladimir Putin has always wanted to control Ukraine. I don't believe it's going to stop in Crimea. I think it's going to progress further. They're going to do what they have decided to do, and um, the simple people are the ones that are going to suffer. Ala Bamburiak left Ukraine 17 years ago. She says relatives in her homeland are already feeling the effects of an economy threatened by war. The economy is, has dropped tremendously. I mean, the euros, just talking to people in the city, the euros have been bought out. She believes her fellow Ukrainians need to remain calm and avoid misleading propaganda to seek a peaceful solution. Just talking to my family members, you know, I'm like, trust God, stay calm, and love love your your husband your children um, who knows what's going to happen we don't know and for many the unknown is their biggest fear people are gathering on the streets trying to get everyone united because you know they don't want to experience what they experienced you know back in communist days one of the biggest fears over russian occupation drafting family members into the russian army a requirement under the former communist country